Hello, my name is Ralph and today I want to present the Digitech RP255. With a 20 second slooper, 94 amps, cabinets, stomp boxes and effects, with lexicon reverbs on board, a drum machine with 60 patterns, 120 presets, Cubase LE4, X edit and the power supply included, the RP255 is truly a great deal for the money you pay. For this demo I wanted to use a real amplifier picking up the sound of the RP255. Here you can see the amplifier along with the microphones picking up the sounds. Here we go with the first 10 presets you find on the pedal. A good way to start with all the RP units is dialing up a clean tone using the two foot switches. Now that you have found a cool clean sound, you can use the FX library button to scroll through different effects and effect combinations. If you get in bored using that clean tone, you can always change your tone by using the tone library button. With those two knobs you can explore the unit. Of course, any sound can be edited in depth and stored to any user preset. Here's the back of the unit. You find a headphone out, two line outputs, always use left for mono, the USB port and an auxiliary input for your MP3 or CD player. Also check out the amp mixer switch which optimizes the sound of the RP for those applications. The USB port is responsible to send audio to your computer and receive audio from your computer. Specs are 44.1 kHz and 24 bit. At the same time you can use the USB connection to remote control the RP using the Exatic graphical user interface. If you are not sure which RP unit works best for your application, here is a comparison chart of the features of the 155, 255 and the 355. Please also check out my other videos. <laughs>
There's a 20 seconds looper built in the RP unit. You can activate this feature by pressing and holding down the left foot switch until you read looper in the display. To start looping, you simply have to press the left foot switch one more time, now you read armed in the display, and the first note you play after you read armed in the display will trigger the loop. Note that you can change the preset while the loop is playing back at you.